everyone and welcome back to another big series here on this channel. My name is Daniel and in this very long uh, tutorial I want to show you the entire process of creating a character in Blender 3.0. I wanted to create this tutorial mostly for beginners uh, who use Blender so we're almost not using any external software. Uh, especially we will, well let me just show you basically some pictures that I took throughout the progress. In the first couple of parts, we'll start to work with um, a low poly mesh. So we'll do poly modeling. We'll set up uh, a draft, which is fairly easy. Uh, just you know, basic features in Blender. Um, we'll then go a bit further and brush those parts up and give them all a little bit more detail. This will be basically our high poly mesh. Um, I think we only use sculpting for some of the details here on the body and the legs. I think those are the only parts that we really use sculpting tools on and that's also inside of Blender. So if you don't have uh, ZBrush for example, you should be totally fine in following this tutorial. So I can show you some more pictures. I did some shading tests very early on. These are just uh, personal work, but this is what we'll end up with. Um, and once we have the high poly mesh, we'll of course start to get into retopology which will be a very long process, but I think there's very much to learn. I'm fairly confident about my retopology skills and, uh, well, here's the outcome. Let me just show you what we get from there. Uh, I feel like this is some very clean uh, topology and there are some very valuable lessons to be learned in, in how I created this. And I'm looking forward to teaching you all of that. Um, for those of you who are now wondering why this is all triangles, this is just to avoid some texturing artifacts, um, but I still have, of course, the quad version uh, to go back to, just in case you're curious about that. But this is now this very mesh. It's a low resolution mesh, it's a low poly mesh, but we bake normal maps onto it. This is one of the places where I use external software, uh, also for the UVs, unfortunately. Uh, Blender has in my experience just not the greatest tools for that. That doesn't mean that you can't do this part in Blender only, it just means that it will be a little bit harder. And I had to cut here a few corners just to improve the quality a little bit. But you can see that even though this is now a low resolution mesh, a low poly mesh, you have all the details from the sculpt still in and all the, the, the curves are still pretty smooth. You really have to zoom in to see uh, these sort of bumps and well, edgy shapes of the polys. But yeah, from there we just go and do some texturing. There will be a little bit of a quite, a, it was quite a challenging setup to be honest. Um, there were some tricky parts and uh, I did have to go a bit back and forth, but I'll, I'll do my best in the editing to sort of cut away the parts that will confuse you um, and try to focus on the things that matter but uh, I hope you can have a little bit of understanding when um, I will struggle myself towards the end <laughs> because it's simply just a tough, tough thing to pull off. But we're going th uh, through all of this texturing. I'll show you how to do the internal lines. I'll show you how to do the external lines that you can see here, the outlines. There's also some very fancy shading stuff going on here and on the eyes. I can actually show you a video here. Um, let's play that. Basically, the eyes are flat. Well, I, I'll just show you here on the mesh. <laughs> this is going to be a really interesting part of the video, in my opinion, and quite a little bit of an innovative part as well. So the eyes are basically just a flat mesh, and this is all a shader that's used to create this 3D effect. And I think this, that this is a technique that hasn't re really been used a lot, but it's extremely powerful because it allows you to sort of shift the eyes inside as you go to a side view and gives you a way more stylized and natural feel use a similar technique here on the helmet. And once again, it, these were some tricky parts. I had to figure things out, out as I went with this. And um, well, I'm looking forward to teaching you all of these things, that is for sure. So um, all in all, I think that's going to be it for this first video. I really only wanted to show you that, uh, you see, we actually pulled it off. We created a very nice character. I wanted to show you that it's all um, ready to be <laughs> put onto YouTube in the form of, uh, of a tutorial. It's going to be very long. I have a feeling that it's going to be more than 40 parts. Uh, some of them are just 10 minutes, some of them are an hour long, so 
uh, <laughs> not the most consistent stuff, but um, I did my best there. And it's going to be published throughout the next months. Uh, I still haven't edited it, so um, uh, should I miss a day or two, um, it will mostly be because I couldn't keep up with the editing. But I'll do my best to keep it up. Um, basically, it's just some screen recordings that I have to confirm, cut out the parts where I have to sneeze or whatnot. <laughs> but uh, it should be pretty much good to go. Uh, one last note that I think some of you will be wondering about. Uh, does this include rigging, for example? Does this include animation or, and export to U UE uh, Unreal Engine and these kind of things? And the quick answer to that is no for now because the tutorial has been long enough and it's just modeling at this point the character creation into uh, a form that is basically ready to be used in other contexts. And my plan is to continue this series to produce some additional content to maybe go into rigging here to uh, maybe do the cape as a cloth setup and show you how to do that. But these things are just going to take more time and I wanted to get this out. It has actually been my New Year's resolution to <laughs> really try to uh, do more content this year. So let's see how it goes. I haven't been the best <laughs> to keep it up, but um, definitely let me know in the comments what other content you would like to see. Uh, for the coming months, you will be definitely uh, supplied with lots of videos from this channel. So if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure that you leave a subscription because I think you'll not regret it. So with that said, I hope I didn't forget about anything important. If you have any well questions, anything you're wondering about, um, leave it in comments. Maybe I can answer some of those questions. And um, I'll be releasing this video soon, probably two to three every week. Um, and that will probably be even this week. So let's hope that everything goes well. I hope you like the content. I hope you enjoy uh, and look forward to this particular design will be a great experience and I will see you soon.